I'm Angelina. We're in bed with Armand, although he's not here right now. He's just getting home from tennis, so just waiting for him to uh, come in. I don't know where he is, but... Uh, what the heck's going on here? <laughs> All right, here he is. Put his helmet on and everything. <laughs> Photo bomb. <laughs> hey. Anyway, oh, shoot, man. All right, well, come on in, Armand. It feels I'm getting good. In that water. Oh, my gosh, it feels so good. getting in that good. water, man. That looks right. good after three full sets of tennis. Only thing you can do where you lose and still enjoy it. Oh, not left, not right, forward. Okay. No politicians will harm in this video. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be an interesting uh <laughs> interesting show on the raft. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna be really close to you. How I love about it. that? Alright, so this is in bed with Armand and Angelina. We thought it's a gorgeous day that we would do it out in the pool. So uh let's see. How was your tennis? Tennis was awesome. I played with a guy that's so much better than I am that he typically beats me. Uh -huh. And today I lost three the first set. No, I lost three to six. And the second set I lost three to six. And then the last set I won, I lost four to six. And I still felt like I won because I had fun. Right. And I, so, came, I came up with a new thing today. Oh, you did? What's that? A positive thing about losing. Okay. Every time my partner beats me, he gets to feel extra joy and satisfaction. So even when I lose, uh, somebody wins. It's I awesome. I like it. Uh, you know, I don't really understand the um, scoring of tennis. Um, love, I know love. there's a lot of love, love, lot love, of love, love, love. I think it's true love. There's love in every game when you play tennis. <laughs> it's right. Sometimes I have a lot more love than the other partner. <laughs> Is that good or bad? Well, I wouldn't think in terms of good or bad, but it's not a good score when you have love. It means they win. Oh, yeah, that means you that's weird get... because love's such a beautiful word. I know. You would think it would be a good thing. I know. Ha. Huh. All right, so let's try and do the daily word here. You're going to have to hold on to that thing, Ramona. We're going to float away. Daily here. word. Oh. <laughs> All right. <Whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. You should have known better than to do this with me today. Okay, so today's daily word ah, is prosperity. I am grateful for my prosperity. Prosperity is not so much about a shift in outer conditions, but a shift in awareness. When I fully engage with life's abundance, appreciating the good that is already present, I am energized. As I am attracted to new life and new energy, I am primed to notice and act when even more good comes into manifestation. By giving thanks for all that has already been provided, I move into the stream of divine ideas and open myself to experience that flow. New thoughts of possibility and plenty replace old thoughts of worry and doubt. I place all of my attention on my connection with God within and give thanks for all the good that I am now experiencing. My gratitude grows as my prosperity and plenty come forth with ease. And now she's going to read the scripture, which a couple of people have asked which is that she reads the scripture, uh, which she wasn't doing for a while. Proverbs 16.20. Yes. Those who are attentive to a matter will prosper, and happy are those who trust in God. Sweet. Yay. i got to cool off, man. I'm hot. You, you start talking. All right. I'll start talking. Start talking. <sighs> it is warm. I thought the water might be a little chilly today because it was... Uh, cool last night but it's wonderful all right so um Armand you oh, we lost Armand he's underwater <laughs> okay so we're gonna do uh it's not really getting morning but we're gonna do uh Alexa good morning good morning my favorite song Aretha Franklin's respect was first released on this day in 1967 <laughs> Unbelievable vocals and an empowering message. That's what it means to me. <laughs> Very good. I like it. I like it too. All right. So we first were going, I think we should talk about yesterday's 
taping, right, Armand? Ooh, yesterday was crazy. It was crazy. We decided to use our cell phone and didn't really know what, <laughs> how different it would be. So uh, it was just a little stressful. Even trying to still be in the flow of life, it was a little difficult at times, right, Armand? Yes. So one funny thing, though, is didn't realize that when you're taping on the cell phone with a selfie mode, that all my quotes were backwards. <laughs> so, you know, we're always learning, learning new things. And so if we ever do that again, uh, we, won't, we won't do that, right? Right. And then what took so long, we usually like to try to get these out fairly early, but we did not know how to upload it into YouTube. How many hours did it take, Armand? Four hours. Uh, Normally takes about 15 minutes. Right. So, it's a little crazy, uh, but we got through it, we learned a lot, and we're here to tell the story. Yay. Yay. Okay, so today, we thought we would tell you all something about ourselves that, that uh, maybe you don't know about. Not many people would know about this. I wanted to do something that would be that Armand wouldn't know about it. It's a story he's never heard about my childhood and him telling me a story that I ever heard. But, you know, uh, I, he knows everything. I could not come up with anything that I, I haven't told him already. I'm sure there are some things I don't know yet. It, it's been well, uh, 19 and a half years, but... Do you know what that would be? No, I don't know what it would be. <laughs> you goofball. I don't know yet, but I bet you every year you tell me something new I didn't know. All right. Here's the weirdest thing about a relationship. In yeah. the first three years, yeah. we used to agree, I swear to God, on everything. She just went my way. It was always so easy. And now, we rarely agree on anything. That is not true. See? <laughs> Okay. You might need some wine to go with that cheese right now. That's practice. Right. Okay, so I'll go first. Uh, what I'm going to tell you is I was a competitive swimmer from age 8 to 18. Hey, Mr. Kitty. And, uh, yeah, I loved to swim. And how that all started was I was like 7 or 8 years old, must have been 8, and uh, I was taking swimming lessons. And uh, when it came to the test at the end of the course, the test was to um, swim 20 yards of the pool in the deep end. And uh, I panicked. I didn't want to, I was afraid to be in the deep end. And I thought, oh my God, what am I going to do? So when I got in the pool to swim, I swam so fast just to get to the other side. And so when I got out, the swim coach and the teacher said, oh my gosh, you're a fast little swimmer. You should be on the swim team and you know back then I was very shy and so there's no way I would have done that but because my sister was already on the swim team and I just wanted to be just like my sister and and uh you know just be like my sister so I said okay and so I shout out to Christy yes and so um I, I did that at one point I guess I was maybe 13 14 I thought I want to be in the Olympics uh that never happened uh, things just, you know, life, as I got a little older, there were more activities you doing You get a gold school. medal in my, in my Olympics. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm, I would go to swim practice in the morning, in the summertime, and it, during school time, I would go after school. And I'm just going to thank my dad for always taking me to swim practice every day. On Saturday, there were swim meets, and he took me to my swim meets. Those were an all-day thing, and... Gosh, you know, thank you, Dad, because you just always supported us kids and in, in everything we did. So that's my story. Yes. Do I have one? Tell me one. Something you don't know about me. <laughs> I don't know. What would that so, be? So <laughs> here's something that she does know. But for a few years in my twenties, uh, I used to do singing telegrams. So uh, that was one of my jobs for a while. And then I found out that I could make more money at it if I did a stripogram. <laughs> so I used to do stripograms. I mean, I would only go down to my skivvies. But, uh, you know, full three-piece suit go in. These were usually 70-year-old uh, women. Anyway, they thought I was funny. <laughs> I, would, I, I would strip to David Lee Roth's I'm Just a Gigolo. Oh, oh there funny. goes the water. Whoa, we got to get back. <laughs> Anyway, is that it? 
Wow. Um, I guess. I guess that's it. Do you have anything else to say? Nope. Just that uh, we appreciate you all. We do. Thanks for everybody. Oh, I know what we want to do. If you have any uh, oh. any questions or anything like that that you want to ask about, right? Us, or if you have any ideas that you'd like us to talk about, we'll yeah. uh, put we'll it on. Try it. Put it in the comments section of YouTube. Subscribe. That kind of stuff. Uh, you can even do it on Facebook. Right. And uh, and we'll Insta try to message. answer some questions. Because uh, we want this to be more fun and personal. That's right. So I guess uh, let's close out with our happy song of... Uh-oh. <laughs> Technical difficulties here. Oh, my phone's oh, over, gosh. My phone's I don't know over what I'm the doing. water. My phone's okay, over the water. Okay, we're going to not do it with music. zippity doo da zippity yay. Bye. Bye. Oh, my Have a great what day. a wonderful day. <laughs> Plenty of sunshine going my, my way. way. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, still here. Bye. <laughs> Bye.